I'm Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at a 2020 27 RBQC Puma XLE by Palomino. It's a single slide bunkhouse. Um, if you've looked at these before, you may notice that some of these color schemes are different. Um, uh, looks a lot more modern. I like them. I'm trying to point out as much as I can out of it. Uh, 27 RBQC and Arrowhead Camper Sales, we're the dealer. Uh, when you enter in, you enter into the kitchen living room area. Going to start the front our master bedroom so you come in to go to the right here's your master bedroom I try to point out some things as we go through this that in this segment are maybe unique uh, some things to those of you that are more experienced campers might be obvious uh, but for example we're going to start out here this is an actual door um, not just a curtain not just a sliding door we have a legitimate door here to close this bedroom off upon entering into the bedroom accent wall at the front i've got ha hanging storage on both sides of this bed now the hardware has changed throughout this unit. Got this dark look. A uh, hardware looks great. Um, you notice we have a light colored floor, light colored walls. Trying to have a farmhouse style look here as well, but a very light, airy feeling throughout this unit. Um, LED lights, several of those. Some storage above on both sides of the bed. As you can see, there's a nightstand. This side has an outlet. Uh, that, that side has an outlet and USBs. Windows on both sides of the bed for natural light. Uh, the windows do have night shades not just window blinds uh, below the bed there is storage Let's see if i can do it uh while holding this this video recorder um uh, if i can get there uh, away there you go storage below notice space at the foot of the bed and the sides of the bed so i can easily get in and out of this bedroom and then the overhead lights are on a switch not just push buttons so going back out of the bedroom this is looking back at the rest of the unit kitchen on the left bunks in the back Bedroom, uh, bathroom, excuse me, at the rear corner, and then our super slide here on the right. So a couple things about this slide room. Uh, as far as the size of it, it is a really the maximum size you can make um, in this segment. I've got the full depth. Uh, oftentimes in products that compete with this, you'll see maybe two-thirds, half, or even less uh, that depth. When I say depth, I mean the distance it's going out. Uh, full depth, full height, as you can see. It goes almost all the way to the top, just leaving enough room for a header. And below, there's no step up into the slide. A lot of products you'll see you have to step up into that slide. Uh, maybe that slide ends, you know, a foot uh, from the bottom. Not the case here. Also, it's a flush floor slide. And by that, I mean that there's very minimal uh, step up from the main floor to the slide floor. We hate that. Um, it's a tripping hazard, and it's just annoying. So, flush floor slide. Additionally, a U-shaped booth in this slide. Um, I like that because it's it's longer and easier for adults to sleep on. I'm 5'10", I can sleep on it. Uh, those of you that may be you know, 6'5", 6'6", obviously you're the exception to the rule, but for most average size adults or, or smaller, this is a bed they can actually use. Um, at the least, you've got more seating and you've got more storage below the cushion. So it's a win-win to me. Uh, big windows in this slide. Again, night shades on those. Lots of natural light coming in. Above that, I've got this decorative um, accent lighting above the the booth i do like that uh, beautiful cabinet doors above got glass inserts into that i've got a window behind my couch my couch is a jackknife sofa looks like a theater seat but it's not uh, but it's better than the average jackknife i've got these that flip up out of the way if i want to make a bed if not i put them back down for cup holders below i've got great storage you can see there and then the lights above are on a switch as well so that's my slide area Regarding my kitchen, a couple things here. Lots of storage. There's storage on the back side of this as well that you can get to from the entry door. A nice big countertop. Sink cover and stovetop cover give me a big surface there to serve and prep food. I got accent lighting in my stove. Backsplash below, uh, behind. Two outlets there, a window. Beautiful cabinets above with glass inserts. A stainless steel microwave and stainless steel oven as well. Now the refrigerator. Uh, this is the new all 12 volt refrigerator 11 cubic feet this has been an awesome addition um, those of you that maybe are old school or have camped for a while you know about uh, dominic and norcold have been the two mainstays with their uh, gas electric refrigerators and so you might be concerned about how does this work if i lose power or i'm traveling not a big deal it's literally as 12 volt just operates off of the battery um, it can operate off the truck it can operate like i am now off the power converter so just like your gas electric that you had before, this thing runs when you're going down the road or if you lose power. Not a big deal. And it's got increased capacity overall. Again, one of those win-win things. It makes sense. We like it. Puma's using it. So 
a great addition here to this unit. Air conditioner is above. It's a ducted air, ducted throughout the unit, not just a free blow air. That is a big deal. And then lots of LED lights throughout. Again, LEDs, uh, not incandescents. So a low amp draw on the battery and the power converter and less heat. Toward the back, my TV here does pull out if you want to change the angle. Uh, you've got pre-wired for King Wi-Fi there. I've got my little CD Bluetooth, all that good stuff kind of com combo here. Below that, a couple forms of storage. I got hanging storage on the right and then traditional storage to the left. Hard to tell, but those are very big uh, cabinet doors. Below that, I've got more storage even down here. To the right of that are bunks. So notice, of course, these bunks are wider than the average bunk. Uh, nice for adults or just multiple children. You've got beds big enough to accommodate them. Each bunk has a light and each bunk has a USB port. I notice the mattresses are the teddy bear bunk mats. They're a little thicker than some of the cheaper ones and they got this nice finish to them. They're soft. We like them. Uh, each bunk also has a curtain to close it off. The top bunk has a window. And there is an AC vent uh, back there, AC drop for them as well. Toward the back is our bathroom. So toilet there. Uh, notice a lot of the floor space around the toilet. It's easy to get in and out, uh, change clothes, dry off, all those good things. you got enough room for it. That's sometimes a challenge in a travel trailer. Our shower at the back. Uh, this is done right. So you'll see some products in this price segment uh, will not have a tub shower surround. They'll just have wall paneling. That is a terrible idea. Uh, wall paneling is just wood paneling. This is how it should be done. It's a plastic sh uh, shower surround. So no worry about having any damage to that, that wall paneling behind. Uh, we love that. A little extra money on Puma's part that cost them, but in the long run, they want to provide the best for the customer, and it works best. Shelving built into that as well. A little design built into it. Of course, it is a tub as well. So shower tub combo. Um, wash, obviously, kids can take a bath here, or if you got dirty clothes, you can wash them in there. It, it's a nice addition to have that. Big skylight and this vent above. Again, both those things that Puma adds in, some products do not. Uh, besides functionality, they do add natural light in here and height in, in the case of the uh, skylight. So we do love uh, adding those in. Lots of storage, a little little shelving, uh, countertop space to set a bunch of stuff on. you got outlet there, a sink, storage below it, and an actual medicine cabinet. So not just a mirror on the wall, a legitimate medicine cabinet there. All right, so that's the interior of this unit. Also notice the floor. I don't think I pointed it out, but... No carpet except for in the slide. One continual piece of flooring. Beautiful flooring, easy to clean. Uh, just a really a great look and great addition there. So going back outside. Oh, before we go out, I'm going to put this out. Here's your monitor panel. Sorry about that. Monitor panel's here. You can control your slides, awning. Uh, of course, your monitor panel for the tanks. And some other light switches there. So I wanted to point that out. All right, now we go outside. So on the exterior... Uh, Puma now on the XLE line putting these solid steps on there instead of the fold-up steps. Nice addition. Big electric awning. You can see the LED light strip kind of glowing behind it. All right, there it is. You can see it goes the length of the awning. I got an outside porch light as well. Got some tint on my windows, not just see-throughs. I've got outside speakers here. Outside TV hookup. Uh, Six-gallon gas or electric water heater. Before we get too far, I do want to show you the storage. So storage up here, great pass-through storage. No carpet in here. Again, vinyl, vinyl floor, easy to keep clean. And then at the back, here's the outside kitchen. So on the outside kitchen, a couple of features here. Uh, Pull-out storage. That does slide back in there if you want. You got a sink with hot and cold water. And also you got this little hose and spray nozzle. So you can take this off right here. And then you've got another, you know, kind of a shower. Uh, it's nice if you have maybe you have pets, maybe you have kids that are dirty, you've been to the beach, you've been cooking, whatever you want, you can rent stuff off out here. It, it is really convenient. I do like using an outside kitchen. Griddle to the left, a suburban griddle, so good name brand, quality griddle there, and then a refrigerator to the right. This thing, obviously, the whole thing slides in. Let's see if I can do it by myself. So this whole thing slides in. Kind of hard holding this gimbal to do this. So, all right, and that slides back in and out of the way so nice outside kitchen there four four stab jacks and then electric tongue jack ladder uh, excuse me spare tire on the back and then a stowaway power cord here 
Along this side, I got my waste valves back here. Two gray tanks for additional capacity. Got a black tank flush, outside shower. Again, all these features that you might not see in this price segment. There's that big slide we were talking about. Nice big windows also. Then our pass-through storage goes all the way through to here as well. The front, got a rock guard on the bottom in the form of that diamond plate. Electric tone jack. Two LP bottles. So it's a 2020 27RBQC Puma XLE travel trailer. It's a bunkhouse with corner bunks. Big refrigerator, ducted air, outside kitchen, fold-up steps, electric awning. And that's here at Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky.